Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to use ZMap to scan various uh, the various ports or services on the internet. So right here we just did a, uh, a quick ZMap scan checking for port 80 and we're looking for uh, 10 results, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sure enough, we have 10 IP addresses that are listening on port 80. And uh, sure enough, we could, uh, we could go ahead and just guess. What about 443? Same thing, it's gonna check port, uh, port 443 and pull us back results, right? So now, what if we wanted to maybe search for some Minecraft servers? Well, we could do that, right? Because uh, that's what the port is, and let's, uh, let's just search for that. There we go. So we have 10 potential Minecraft servers just because port um, 25565 is coming back as uh, responding does not necessarily mean that actually is... Um, <clears throat> it does not actually mean that's what's going on, okay? So basically what I'm telling you is that we we can check to see if a port number is opening or is open on a network, but that does not necessarily mean it is what it is, right? So just because I live on blah, blah street and, you know, I live at address number one, that does not mean that, uh, you know, just because I live at address number one, it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, that I'm there, right? So, for example, just because port 80 is open does not mean that a web server is there, okay? Now, how we find this information out is uh, is using ZGrab, right? So, in order to use ZGrab, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're pretty much just going to... I'm actually going to take... Excuse me. I'm actually going to take a little snippet of code. And I'm going to toss it over here. Whoop. So this right here is going to check 443 and for the endpoint uh, C panel, right? So cPanel is a pretty common I'm sorry cPanel is a pretty common management system for websites and so yeah it's it's totally it's possible that we could scan for cPanels right and we definitely can I'm just gonna do uh, I'm gonna cut this number down to like 5,000 instead of 10,000. So we're scanning for 5,443 um, results there. Then we're going to do a grab. We're doing the Z grab for the endpoint C panel. And now what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to grep that stuff out. And there you go. So... Basically, if I go through and I, I load some of these, I'm probably going to get a, a C panel on. Uh, I'm going to get a C panel on port two zero eight three, right now. Alternatively, I could just scan. I could have just scanned back here for port two zero eight three in the first place, and I, I'd probably have gotten a, a lot of C panel results, right? So I'm sure that makes sense. By the way, all of this information is totally for educational, informational purposes only. This uh, this information is not intended to be used in, in any sort of way. It's just uh, mainly for informational purposes, so you know that this is something that someone can do on the internet. I, I, and when I say can do, I don't mean legally or uh, illegally. I, I just simply mean that it's something that someone could potentially do. Um, so you, you need to keep in mind that keeping ports closed that you don't want to open is important. You know, just the same way that you would keep all your doors closed if you don't want strangers coming in, you know, to visit. Right. So don't don't want strangers peeking their head and looking inside your home. Then lock you close your door, lock it up. OK, close your ports. Same idea, same exact concept. So we can clearly see that by looking at the banners there's a, a lot of information going on here, right? 
And so the all these banners, these are from those um those requests out to see. Here, if I grep for here, what can I grep for? We should be able to see two hundred OK. I think. Hundred OK is like uh, it's an HTTP status code. Oh yeah, right here. So that's our status line. So really, we we just want to see that all the status lines are two hundred OK. Then we can we could parse out all this um, it's JSON, uh, however you pronounce that. But we could parse it out, and we could pull out only the the two hundred OKs or the status code two hundred. We could pull out. Um, there's there's a lot of things that we can pull out from this information and this could even be used with for example um team team speak queries right um the the one zero zero one one or whatever it is you could potentially go scan a, a lot of those or scan them all out across the web and then uh, j just do like a telnet banner grab on those to check to see which ones are our actual TeamSpeak um, open queries. So, <laughs> or query servers, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, I just wanted to showcase this and, and let you know how how some people use discovery scanning to uh, to identify potential uh, potential open doors and when i say open doors i don't necessarily mean like uh security issues although you know uh, an open door could i i guess i could see how an open door could lead to maybe a security issue but this is a tool that's used to protect systems and, and it's also a tool that's used to uh to help people find issues so um i mean at the very end of the day what it comes down to is that you know this video is totally for educational or informational purposes strictly and if you want to if you want to look into the legality of it or, or do whatever uh you you may i mean that's totally up to you but all all that i'm gonna say is that if you're looking to to do any type of scanning it, it's best if you have permission so I, I mean obviously that that's like best case scenario you have permission to uh to just scan like the whole internet but i i don't I'm really not sure how you would just go get permission to scan the whole internet. I mean, that's like, uh, <laughs> you, you have to ask a lot of people, but anyway, you have a great day and, uh, hopefully people see the benefit in, in the security of this and how like kind of the, the security, um, th this type of security tool can be helpful and beneficial to to making sure that the internet is a safer place um it, it's also potentially a tool that could be used for harm just like a gun you know like a, a gun can be used for the right reasons or, or a, a gun can go in and you know it can be used as part of like a bank robbery so guns help police guy you know policemen guns help terrorists uh, it, it really comes down to how, how you're using the tool um so i i could definitely see how ZMAP is a, a good tool for, for help and, and healthiness. And then I can also see how, how ZMAP could be uh, turned around and used the wrong way. So um, all, all that I ask is that you use this information wisely and, and you apply a, a certain amount of ethics. So don't go out there scanning the entire world just because you can. Um, but at the same time, if you want to, uh, you know, maybe just look at a, a couple port 22s and see what versions of... Um, you know, like what, what SSH demons people are running, you, you can check into that. Um, but I mean, again, I, I'm not giving, I'm not strictly giving you permission to do that. Okay. Like I, obviously, I mean, only do this stuff on your own servers. Yeah. <laughs>